So you are, I think you are, everyone is using the ChatGPT kind of tools. There are a lot of tools came into the market after the uh, OpenAI model. So how we can use this tool for brainstorming the ideas? So it, all the ChatGPT Char kind of tools are developed with vast amount of data. So once you use these kind of tools for brainstorming, you will refine your ideas. When it comes to market research and then analysis, you can use various kind of tools, starting from uh, semantic analysis and then literature reviews or research uh, scopes, all these things. Based on the research papers, you can analyze the ideas. So nowadays, the tools like, if you upload certain research papers, it is giving the summary. So from the summary, you can understand. No need to spend much time on analyzing the research papers as well. So when it comes to the market data, you can explore all these things based on the advanced tool. So on this theme, mine is like from the academia perspective and as well as from the startup perspective, I am trying to bring out some innovations from the AI side. So everyone is hearing about the AI and then it is how it is changing day by day based on the industry's perspective in the work field and all the sectors, how it is overcoming the domains. You are day by day exploring all these things. When it comes to the startups, how it can help in innovate, optimize, and how we can uh, scale the startups, we can take it forward. So you are, I think you are, everyone is using the ChatGPT kind of tools. There are a lot of tools came into the market after the uh, OpenAI model. So how we can use this tool for brainstorming the ideas? So it, all the ChatGPT kind of tools are developed with vast amount of data. So once you use these kind of tools for brainstorming, you will refine your ideas. So that will help to come up with a good idea based on the success stories. When it comes to market research and then analysis, you can use various kind of tools, starting from uh, semantic analysis and then literature reviews or research uh, scopes, all these things. Based on the research papers, you can analyze the ideas. So nowadays, the tools like, if you upload certain research papers, it is giving the summary. So from the summary, you can understand. No need to spend much time on analyzing the research papers as well. So when it comes to the market data, you can explore all these things based on the advanced tool. So similarly, when it comes to product development, there are the algorithms like machine learning and deep learning and reinforcement learning. So all these algorithms can simplify your task. So, a is nothing but which will avoid the repetitive works. So and then provide you the good insights from the data. So from the historical data, you can come up with the good insights. That is the whole idea about the AI. So then when it comes to the product development based on the feedback, based on the pattern of data uses, you can come and then you can understand the how it is changing the perspectives of the individual mindsets. So for that, and then you can utilize the power of AI powered tools. So such tools will help you in designing the simulation models. We developed recently, it's called a tech entrepreneur simulation. If you do one step, what will happen in the in your startup ecosystem? If you do the wrong step, what will happen in the uh, ecosystem? So these kind of simulation development tools we have developed at AI Research Center. So these tools will help you to analyze your startup ideas. So not only that, personalized customer experiences are more uh, popular nowadays when it comes to the Swiggy, Gemato, starting from that, the notification kind of things, all these things you can come up like a personalized things. So nowadays if you are developing any idea also, how it can be validated in the real time market. All these things you can come up with the AI support. So apart from that, operational eff efficiency also you can measure, so with the AI tools. So how you can streamline your business ideas, how you can into the, go into the market, all these analysis, you can utilize the AI tools. So just by overviewing all these terminologies like scaling growth, all these things will be helpful in understanding the business perspectives when it comes to the startups. 
So there are certain challenges and considerations when you are using the ChatGPT kind of tools. What is the biases and how you are giving the prompts? All these things you should be aware of that. And then what? Every industry there are certain challenges. How you can take it forward is based on your understanding. And then how? What are the data security challenges? You need to look into these things. So AI will help you. At the same time, you have to be cautious about how you are using the AI. That is the whole conclusion from that. And then we are working on the different technologies starting from, we have seen starting from the embedded systems like a circuit level designs to the AI advanced models. So like ChatGPT kind of uh, developments. So however, whatever you are developing, you should be conscious on the model. So these are the technologies we are working at the Oxen University AI Research Center. So starting from the AI necrobiotics, necrobiotics is a new innovation uh, with the skeletons and all, spiders movements, we are developing that. And then IoT and embedded systems, virtual and augmented reality and XR. These are the domains you can uh, focus on that. And then software and web development, that is well known. And then blockchain and web3, HCI. And uh, NLP and own long-wise models. We are developing our own long-wise models there. And then quantum computing. So if you are want to any guidance on the these domains, we are open to all. Thank you. To stay informed about the startup ecosystem, subscribe to my startup TV.